Let us consider a cylindrical pipe of length L and radius R. Radius R. Let this be the axis of the cylinder. Let this be the axis of the cylinder. And let us consider a liquid flowing through this pipe such that the flow of the liquid is horizontal or parallel to the axis. And at, at the boundary or uh, at the surface of the container due to the friction between the flow of the fluid and the container, the velocity at the extreme point is zero. Velocity of the liquid at the extreme point is zero. And as we move towards the axis, the velocity increases and velocity is maximum at the center or at the axis of the cylinder. And this goes to the bottom, bottom side also and at the uh, surface of the container or at the extreme point the velocity is zero. So we need to find the velocity at a particular point at a particular distance from the axis of the axis of the cylinder. So let us consider for that let us consider the cross section cross section of the cylinder. I am just expanding this face. This face is like a circle. It is not like a circle. It is a circle. So this is the this is this cross section area. It is a circle. Suppose let us take a point point or let us take a surface x distance x distant from the axis of the cylinder so this point will be if you look through this face it will be a circle like this of radius x clear the radius of this the radius of this circle is x so we need to find the velocity at a distance x units from the axis. For that, you know, if you, if you take a small section here, that is a small section dx on the outer surface of the circle with this radius x. Let its thickness be dx, which means this thickness be dx. The different forces acting are first one it's just like a cylinder in here that is a figure like this so first we need to find the force acting on this particular cylinder or, or the imaginary cylinder we took here we have according to newton's law or viscous force viscous force viscous force acting on this green cylinder we have f is equal to minus eta a dv by dx where eta means the coefficient of viscosity a means the area of the cylinder that is lateral surface area of the cylinder because there is always the con there is a contact between the flu flow of the fluid and the curvature of the cylinder and dv means the dv by dx means the velocity gradient but you know a is equal to a is equal to a, a means the lateral surface area of this green cylinder since its radius is 2x lateral surface area is equal to perimeter into that is the perimeter of the circle into length 2 pi xl. Actually, the lateral surface area of a cylinder is base perimeter into length, so 2 pi xl. So this will be f is equal to minus eta a, not a, minus eta 2 pi xl dv by dx. Let's call that as equation number one. Since there is a force acting there is also an external force acting due to the pressure due to the pressure of the liquid there is an external force acting in the area 
and you know the external force Fe where Fe means the external force is equal to pressure into area that is equal to P is equal P into area of this circle is you know its radius is x so pi x square that is F A. call that as equation number 2 so since the flow of the fluid is steady we have an assumption that in in order to derive the poisson this equation uh, the flow of the liquid must be steady so in order to make the flow steady of uh, flow of the fluid steady we have f is equal to f v that is this viscous force must be equal to the external force implies we have viscous force equal to minus eta 2 pi x l dv by dx is equal to p times that is external force p into pi x square so this will be that is dv is equal to dv is equal to p pi x square dx divided by rearranging taking all these to the left that is minus eta 2 pi x l okay you can cancel this pi and this pi one of the x you can cancel that so finally dv is equal to p x dx minus p x dx by 2 eta l clear that's the expression for the velocity at change in velocity of dv so in order to get the total velocity you need to integrate the equation let's call that as equation number three so in order to get the dv you must integrate the equation three so if you integrate equation three you will get integral integrate both sides integral dv is equal to integral minus px dx by 2 eta l so integral dv is v this is equal to you can take this minus p 2 eta l outside minus p 2 eta l integral x dx so this will be v is equal to minus p by 2 eta l integral x is x square by 2 plus the constant of proportionality constant of integration c so this is the expression for velocity now we need to find let's call that as equation number four now we need to find the value of c for that let us take the boundary condition that is since this is the here at this point we have x is equal to r at the extreme point x is equal to r but you know at x is equal to r velocity is zero that is when x equal to r we have velocity equal to zero so if you substitute that in here v equal to zero is equal to x x is equal to r minus p r square by multiplying this 2 and 2 you get 4 4 eta l plus c so c is equal to p r square divided by 4 eta l that's the value of c now you substitute the value of c in here you will get so instead of this c you can write you can substitute you can substitute this value so plus p r square by 4 eta l now rearranging 
this is equal to into 2 is 4 eta and therefore v is equal to you can take the p by 4 eta l outside then it is r square minus x square so this is the expression for velocity at a distance x at a perpendicular distance x from the axis of the cylinder due to the flow of the fluid now we have now let us consider that this thin strip of area if you expand this thin strip of area it will be like a rectangle rectangle of length length equal to perimeter of the circle that is 2 pi x and thickness dx so you have this area of this thin strip thin circular strip or a strip like that of ring da is equal to 2 pi x dx now we have rate of flow rate of flow or in other words volume flow rate flow rate volume flow rate means the volume of the liquid flowing through the pipe in unit volume flow rate through this area through this small area da we represent that as we represent volume flow rate as dq equal to da times the velocity actually the rate of fluid flow q is equal to a into v area into velocity this is just the equation of continuity rate of fluid flow is equal to area into velocity for this small area we have dq equal to a db or dq is equal to in a d a means 2 pi x 2 pi x dx 2 pi x dx into v is actually this one p by 4 eta l r square minus x square theta so you have to simplify this So this is equal to dq is equal to p by 4 eta l into 2 pi. You have to take this x into, into the brackets. So that is equal to r square x minus x square into x is equal to x cube dx. So in order to get the q, in order to get the Q, total volume flow rate or total flow rate, we have Q is equal to integral, you can write this as 2 P pi divided by 4 eta L R square X minus X Q dx. And since the variable is x, x varies from x, x varies from x is equal to 0 at the axis to x is equal to r. So you have to put that 0 to r. Now if you simplify this, this is equal to q equal to you can take this all these values outside that is 2 p pi divided by 4 eta l integral 0 to r r r square x minus x cube dx so this is equal to q is equal to you can cancel this 2 and 4 it will be 2 p pi by 2 eta l into uh, integral of x is equal to r square x square by 2 minus integral of x cube is x cube by 3 no no x raised to 4 by 4 now you put the lower limit and upper limit so simplifying this you will get for q is equal to p pi divided by 2 eta l into substitute the r 
uh, instead of x so r r square into r square by 2 minus r raised to 4 divided by 4 no need to substitute the lower limit since it is 0 so this can be simplified as simplified as q is equal to q is equal to p pi divided by 2 eta l r raised to 4 by r raised to 4 by 2 minus r raised to 4 by 4 so r raised to 4 by 2 minus r raised to 4 by 4 is equal to r raised to 4 by 4 so this is equal to q equal to p pi by 2 eta l r raised to 4 divided by 4 so 2 times 4 is 8 therefore q is equal to we can write this as pi p r raised to 4 divided by 8 eta l so this is the expression for the rate of flow through a or is through a cylindrical pipe and the rate of flow depends upon the pressure uh, the radius of the pipe the fourth power of radius of the pipe and it is inversely proportional to the coefficient of viscosity and length of the cylinder length of the pipe this is called this equation is called the Poiseuille's equation Poiseuille's equation Poiseuille's equation clear